Hey, it's Drew Flight here. We're back with another video. This time uh, we're going to be looking at some drag specs. Somebody in the forums named, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to butcher the name, but Adrian Hallam told him I'd give him a shout out. He wanted to see a uh, Dodge Charger in drag spec, and unfortunately they haven't added the Dodge Charger in drag spec. So I'm here in my full stock version, and I think I have a uh, performance version with a supercharger on there. I can look real quick. I have too many cars now. They really need a way to sort these by manufacturer. Yep, there's this, the uh, performance with the supercharger. Love the fact the supercharger actually works. But uh, they do have a Dodge Challenger, one of the new um, newer versions of the car, with, is a uh, drag spec. So we're actually going to uh, be doing the Dodge Challenger SRT today. There it is, in 2012. And some jerk decided to hit me. But uh, we're going to be taking a look at this one in the uh, drag spec today. So we're going to head over to the garage, get away from this guy, and uh, swap it out. Actually, I'm going to go to the garage so I can show a few things. They still haven't fixed the lighting in the garage, which is still weird at times. So this is our full stock version of the car. This is the way they are when you buy them, aside from my graphical uh, upgrades. I painted it two-tone and uh, added new rims and the decals on the side. You can see there it's available in every spec except for uh, drift. 470 horsepower with a top speed of 182. We're going to try to see if we can't better that. There's our various specs and our now see they have the charger in drift but not drag which is just silly and none of the other classic muscle cars there we are with our drag spec as you can see already visually it's quite a bit different The uh, drag spec you can customize. It seems to have parts from all the different specs mixed in. Not sure which ones I have unlocked. Might have a couple different bumpers. There's one with a bunch of carbon uh, wings on it. Just an adjustable wing. I think that's the stock drag one right there. They also have various ones. We had them without different parts of the wings. The bumpers are actually all the different variants of the stock bumpers and then it adds the chute and roll bars to the back. It does that for every car. I don't think there's any other... There is another set of sky, side skirts, I think, without the uh, carbon wing there by the rear wheels. And of course, various spoilers. I kind of like that one. It reminds me of a stock car, but... For this, we'll use the nice carbon wing with the Dodge logo on it. And then hoods. There's a ton of different hoods in the shop. These are the only two I own. But I do like the uh, Hemi logo on there. There's several with a full supercharger sticking out of the hood, too, which are kind of neat. There's our stats for it. We bumped it all the way up to uh, 2,955 horsepower. And that's at a pretty base stat. It's only 762 out of a 1299. So that can go way up as you add more to it. So overall, it's an interesting car. Not one of the ones I use for drag. I'm kind of partial to my Porsche now. I do have a Camaro that I use every now and then and some other stuff. Really waiting for those classic muscle cars to be put in there. This should put us right back on the salt flats. Yep, here we are on the salt flats. 
and uh, not too sure what kind of parts we have on this car. Should have checked that while I was in there. I think it's pretty low end. Sounds nice though. We're gonna uh, do a quick run here. This is the salt flats drag run, just to show. I'm actually gonna run out of road because these drag cars are way too fast for this. Suspension doesn't much care for this road either. Salt flats, as it were. They're not very flat, very bouncy. And yep, we're definitely gonna run out of road. We'll do it. Whoa, there's somebody behind me. And he's apparently doing the same thing I am. So, a few things about the drag spec if you're not familiar with it. If you look on the left side of the uh, speedometer, tachometer, there's a tire gauge. If I burn my tires here, you see them go up. There's a little notch, it should drop down into it here somewhere where it turns green. The higher up your, your tires are, the more grip you're going to get. So you get to that green line, and then if it gets all the way up to the tire icon at the top, your tires are completely gone. And when that happens, you lose all traction, and the car will literally just start doing donuts. I burned the nitrous way too early just to show there we're in that green zone. And I can purposely burn off my tires here. Not like that. <laughs> purposely burn off the tires here and then you get going you'll see that we have no traction whatsoever so a lot of people you see do various things where they're just spinning out with drag cars and that's part of it they burn off their tires and then they're just like a glorified drift car at that point but we want to see what this car can really do and doing the uh, race like this just isn't going to cut it so for those who might not be familiar, the best way I've found to do this run is to start over here at this crossroads. And face it the wrong way. This might seem a little odd from the angle, but especially with higher end drag cars, if you want to get a good time on this uh, challenge, this is pretty much the only way to do it. To get up here to where the pavement switches to the salt flats, angle yourself towards the uh, start of the event and just let her rip. If you bring up your map here, you can see we got a ton more road this way. We're not going to run out like we did the other way. And I don't even think this car is fast enough to uh, run out of road going this way. We are pushing the tires up pretty high though. Never had that issue with my other car, but well, we might still run out of road. Generally, if you angle yourself just right, you can get on this highway out here, but these train tracks kind of launch you. There, we ran out of road right as the time ran out. But you can get onto that highway over there if you're good enough and keep going. With, like, my Porsche, I can do that. I was kind of low on tires to try to make any drastic changes there, but you see the huge difference in points between that and my first run where I just went up the... Uh, the valley. We got 18,528 there. We'll try it doing it the standard way. And you'll see the major difference here. Sorry about my stupid clock in the background. That's coming through the mic. And again, I hit the nitrous too early because I wasn't paying attention, but we should still be going fast enough to run out of road. You're going to see the huge amount of points difference between doing it this way and the standard way. And yeah, we still went past the end of the road, so. It's 
about a 2,000 point difference there, I think. Oh, look, we actually got a part. <coughs> uh, almost 4,000 point difference. Now, granted, I didn't have the same running start and, and whatnot, but running out of road there definitely makes a huge difference. So it's something to keep in mind if you're looking to pull a uh, decent drag time out here on the side. Uh, sand yeah. Out here on the salt flats. Cannot speak today. But, unfortunately, there's not too much else to the drag cars. Managing your tires is the big one. They are possible to drive on the road, but extremely difficult. You really have to manage the uh, tire wear. Uh, keyboard users here at the biggest loss because uh, when you put your finger on the throttle, you're basically flooring it. In which case, you tend to burn right through tires like nothing where people using game controllers or wheel and pedals have the option to not lay into the throttle fully. I burn off all my tires. So now we're just free roaming here. If I'm to turn any little bit, the car is going to start doing donuts on me. Hey, there we go. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the drag specs. I w wish you could deploy the chute while you're out uh, in just free roam and not actually in the events. Doesn't let you do that, unfortunately. One of the new updates they added to the game recently is uh, these trials. And they're basically practice for people who have the game and for those who don't have... Um, wild run you could still come and practice the extreme spec events without actually owning wild run you get a rental car to use can't earn any parts from them i don't think you earn any money from them they're just practice um you might earn the money still if you don't have the expansion i'm not sure but um gives you a chance to try out the different things you can try out the drift you can try out the monster truck and the drag of course it's raining this one looks like it's on an airstrip. I think I remember this. So first thing you're going to do here, you run three runs, takes your best score. First thing you do is burn up your tires. You want to get up there in the green zone. Too high and you burn off too much tires, too low and you don't get grip. Hit the light on go and I missed a shift there because I was talking. And you have to use a uh, manual transmission in these events. There is an automatic shift, but it's way too low, and uh, will over rev every time, and you lose a ton of speed. So you pretty much have to manually shift. It's a pretty lame uh, run there. Oh, it says good. Look at that. Give it another try here. Again, you do three runs, and it takes your best of. Always miss that first gear. Not sure where to hit the boost on this car either. It's got an odd uh, gearing ratio compared to the other ones I run. Used to driving my Porsche. It's quite a bit different driving an American muscle car after the Porsche. I shaved off two hundredths of a second. One more try, and it'll take the best of our three. Much better there. Try hitting the nitrous a little earlier to see if it helps. There's a trade-off on nitrous. Hit it too early, and you don't reach the same high top speeds hit it too late and you spend more time accelerating um, instead of being at those higher speeds. So it's really hard to find the middle on where to go. Usually with my Porsche I hit it right at 6,000 RPM. Seems to be the peak for that. Every car is a little bit different. You gotta play with them. Actually lost two, two thousandths of a second that run.
Anyway, that's a look at the uh, drag spec here. Let's see what we got. Any part should be an improvement. Oh, nice upgrade there. And we did best our record. So I haven't done this one in a while. So I'd like to see what I can do with the Porsche with its higher stats. But let's see how we rate. Oh, none of my friends have even done this one. 135 overall is not bad considering I'm using a bare bones stock car. So I I'm okay with that. Anyway, leave me a message in the uh, comments below if there's a car you want to see, a race you want to see, any kind of specific specs, and I'll do my best to get them. I think I own every car in the game right now except for a couple of the paid ones, and I'm working on getting those as well. And, uh, We'll see you in the next video.